Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Kessler, and I'm going to talk about the difference between Botox and Dysport. The neurotoxins, which Botox and Dysport are, are um, now uh, no less than five products that are on the market. So, uh, Xeomin, Juvo, Monoblock, uh, these are all derivatives of the clostridium chain, and they are all nerve blockers. And so what makes them different is really their size and, and the part of the chain that they come from. And so specifically the difference between Dysport and Botox is that the Dysport molecule is about a third of the size of a uh, Botox molecule. And so therefore it takes about three units of Dysport to have the effect of one unit of Botox. Now, how does that make a difference? Well, when you inject, what I find is, is because the Dysport molecules are smaller, they diffuse through the tissues a little bit more than the Botox does. So you have to change your injection sites and this, the Dysport can actually be more profound. So, for example, um, foreheads, although I like them softer, I don't like to see lines in the forehead, I do like movement. And Dysport can actually be so profound that your forehead can be frozen. Now, obviously, that's injector technique as well. Um, so, what I find is, been using Botox for over 20 years now, and I don't have to modify and change my technique to get the exact look that I'm looking for. And so from that standpoint, I find that I just prefer and I'm more comfortable with the Botox. I think it gives a more natural appearance when it's used.